coming into Creed, Colorado. Creed, Colorado, as seen from near the Bulldog Mine site. Creed, Colorado, in the morning light. West Willow Creek. That is what remains of the Amethyst Mine, the second richest mine from the Creed Silver Rush. The richest mine is up there. That's the last chance mine. Last chance mine was discovered by Theodore Reininger. Story goes it was his last chance. He was getting ready to leave Creed and he went up one more time and struck it rich. And uh, he ended up <laughs> On his last day, finding the richest silver vein here, the amethyst vein, and Nicholas Creed, the founder of Creed, assayed his claim and ended up staking the amethyst claim just beneath it, which ended up being the second richest. wagons and horses that got tangled up in a mess in this canyon right here they would just burn them in the road and all that was left was ashes and bones this is called the black pitch I guess you know from the ashes of horses <laughs> supposed to be the worst part on the road but I've definitely seen worse this summer <laughs> I've seen stuff that turned me around oh look at this view oh my goodness look at this West Willow Creek picking up a little strength This is what the wagon drivers had to deal with. <laughs> Hauling goods to and from the mines and the many towns that were up here because Creed originally started up here in the canyons around the mines and then 
kind of grew out into the flatter portion. Wow, this is steep and rough. Glad I'm in a four wheel drive, not driving a wagon. <laughs> Yeah, the, the locks on the wagon wheels used to break loose on this hill and they would just go careening down the hill. <laughs> Supplies and all. Well, this is just incredible. Wow. which mine this is right down here find out soon enough I think it's the Commodore but I can't remember well, this is what's left of the Commodore mine one of the longest running mines in the Crete area From 1884 to 1976, it was a producing mine. There's a lot of different ores that come out of this valley. Silver was the big one. But it also produces lead, zinc, copper, and some gold. This is one of the longest running mines. Very cool. I think this one was more corporate owned than just a single prospector striking it rich. <laughs> the Commodore mine. We're not done though. There's more to it. They've got it. There's more to the Commodore mine. <laughs> I don't fall and break my neck while filming. Probably drive down there and get a different perspective. This is cool. The thunder is speaking to me. It's saying, wrap up the shot, son.
Well, I have found my next campground. It's just uh, four miles west of Creed at Rio Grande Campgrounds. So I bet you've already guessed that's the Rio Grande River. It's flowing kind of quietly here at this stage of the headwaters. But that's fine. This will be a nice, soothing situation for camping. But I'm not far from camp. Camp is right there. But this is a perfect little cove for sheltering. As you can see. Well, this will do fine. Completely different from the last campsite. Along the banks of the Rio Grande River at the Rio Grande campground. It's been intermittent rain. You get used to that here in Colorado.